So my first day arriving in, in the University of Hertfordshire was very memorable. I can never forget that day. Um, so it started off when my dad picked me up from my house and put all the stuff in the car. Came from South London straight to Hatfield. Um, at the time, I lived in Chapman Hall, which was one of the old accommodation blocks. Um, so I, my dad had to rush off after, so he rushed off with his friend, and it was me and my mum unpacking my things. Um, by the way, my mum's a very emotional person, so it wasn't very pleasant to see her crying about her youngest kids going away from home. So we unpacked, I took her to the station. As we were departing, she started crying, and then kind of hit me a little bit as well. I shed a tear. Uh, we hugged each other, and then just said, I'll see you on the weekends. Um, my friend picked me up from the station, took me back to the Chapman Hall, um, just sat there a little bit, chilled, had, had a catch up conversation. We went out walking around meeting new people and it was lovely to see a lot of students moving in the same boat as me. So I didn't really feel out of place because a lot of students are coming in fresh from home as well. None of them, some of them had loads of friends already but the majority were in the same boat as us. So we all met up, went to a forum that night which was the foam party I believe. Um, brilliant night, my first ever experience in the forum, I kind of remember it like, like it was yesterday. Um, the next day we all met up, went to lecture together, it was induction time, I studied law, so we had an induction, um, talks through the president of the Students' Union, who was Raja at the time. Um, and then from that week, it was just getting to know people, getting to know my surroundings, getting to know my lecturers, getting to know my, the logistics of studying, studying net, the SU website. And from then I just progressed to meet new people, met some old friends from primary school as well. So it was lovely to just see everybody progressing in life as well.